Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Before we start learning new math lessons, let's buff up on our current skills. Let's start with the standard algorithms for addition and subtraction, and then we can move on to multiplication. Remember, an algorithm is the steps and rules we follow to solve a problem. You've already learned many different strategies to help with adding and subtracting numbers. Using the standard algorithm, let's add 2,506 and 2,782. Now first, we're going to start on the right side with the smallest place value. As we add, we're going to move to the left to the higher place values. All right, let's go. 6 plus 2 is 8. Place that under the 1s. 0 plus 8 is 8. That goes in the 10s place. 5 plus 7 is 12. Okay, now be careful. The 2 goes in the 100s place, and the 1 gets carried over to be added with the 1000s. Now, 1 plus 2 plus 2 is 5. Our final answer is 5,288. Great job! Moving on over to subtraction. When subtracting, the order matters. The larger number goes on top, and we subtract the bottom number from the top. If the number is not large enough to subtract from, we're going to need to borrow from the next place value. Even if numbers don't have the same number of digits, it's important to line up the place values. Let's start with 5,672 minus 491. Okay, 2 minus 1 is 1. We can place that in the 1's place. And 7 minus 9... Uh, we can't take 9 away if there are only 7, so we're going to need to borrow from the 100's place. Now we're going to turn the 6 into a 5, and our 7 becomes 17. Now we can subtract 9 from 17. Well, that gives us 8. Okay, good. Moving on. The 100's are 5, so 5 minus 4, that's 1. And last but not least, the 1000's place. Uh, notice that there's nothing there to subtract from the 5, so we just put a 0 as a placeholder. And 5 minus 0 is 5. So our final answer is 5,181. Next up is multiplication. When we're multiplying by one digit, like 3,625 by 6, there are a few different ways we can multiply. And depending on the problem, it may be quicker and easier to multiply with the standard algorithm. So we're going to start by multiplying 6 by the 1's place, and then move our way up to the higher place values. Now there will be some carrying over, like in addition. First we multiply, and then add in the carryover number. Now let's try it out. Okay, 6 times 5 is 30. Okay, the 0 stays in the 1's place, and the 3 is carried over. Next, 6 times 2 is 12. And now we can add the carried over 3. So 12 plus 3 is 15. Place that 5 in the tens place and carry the 1. 6 times 6 is 36. But don't forget to add the 1 to get 37. Now the 7 will stay in the hundreds place and the 3 gets carried over. Final step. 6 times 3 is 18, and adding in the 3 is 21. Okay, our final product is 21,750. Now let's try using this method for another problem. 31 multiplied by 25. Ooh, look. Both numbers have two digits this time. Just like the last example, we're going to multiply the numbers in the 1's place first. Now we're going to want to multiply the 5 with the number above in the 1's place, the 1. 5 times 1 is 5. Now still using the 5, multiply it by the number in the 10's place above, the 3. 5 times 3 is 15. Alright, so we have 155 so far. But before we start multiplying the 2 in the tens place, we need to place a 0, whoop, right down here. The 2 is in the tens place, so it represents 2 tens, or 20. 
So really, we're multiplying 20 times 1. Well, we put the 0 down as a placeholder because it's the 0 from 20. And this lets us multiply the other numbers by 2 instead of 20. So we need to multiply the 2 by all the numbers on top, but not the 5. So 2 times 1 is 2. And we can place the 2 here next to the 0. And next, 2 times 3, well, that's 6. So now there are two numbers, 155 and 620. 155 is the number we got from multiplying the 5 by the 3 and the 1. And 620 is the number we got from multiplying the 2 by the 3 and 1. So we need to add 155 and 620 together to get our final answer. Okay, starting on the right with the 1s. 5 plus 0 is 5. And 5 plus 2, it's 7. Finally, 1 plus 6 is 7. Aha! Our final answer is 775. When working with multi-digit multiplication, I like to use arrays to help break down the problem. Well, let's check it out here. 52 by 14. This strategy breaks up the numbers by the place values. 52 can be turned into 50 plus 2. And 14 can be broken down into 10 plus 4. Now we can set up our multiplication problems. 50 times 10, 2 times 10, 2 times 4, and 50 times 4. Perfect. And now it's multiplication time. Okay, 50 times 10 equals 500. 2 times 10 equals 20. 2 times 4 equals 8, and 50 times 4 is 200. Okay, next we add all of the values together to get the final product. 500 plus 20 is 520. 520 plus 8 is 528. 528 plus 200 is 728. Our final answer of 52 times 14 is 728. Now another way to multiply numbers is by using the distributive property. Breaking up numbers with the distributive property can make mental math easy and quick. So let's review it. 6 multiplied by 67. The 67 can be broken up into 60 plus 7 in order to help us multiply this quicker. And we can multiply each of those numbers separately by 6. 6 times 60 is 360, and 6 times 7 is 42. Ooh, that was some great mental math. Now it's time to add them up. 360 plus 42 is 402. Wow, time flies when you're doing math. Awesome work today. You did such a great job reviewing the different methods and strategies to solve problems. Now you're ready to learn some new concepts. So I'll be waiting for you in the next lesson so we can get started.